Hi, I'm Anastas. I'm a product engineer for Thermistors at Vichy, and today I would like to show you a healthy spy simulation of a full electronic thermostat with heating and cooling based of an NTC thermistor. Okay. We're back with this time the LTC 1040 full electronic thermostat which encompasses two op amps A and B and can heat and cool down a system depending on the temperature measurement. Very simply we first fix a target temperature at 25 degrees C and this system will be controlled in an on-off mode around this temperature. But there are some more interesting features. There is first here a resistor which induces a separation zone between the cooling and the heating zones. If we tune this resistor to get a 0.5 degree C separation, the LTC 1040 will cool down to 25.5 degree C and heat up to 24.5 degree C. Then there are also these resistors in the feedback loops. They provide further hysteresis around the separated temperature. If we tune this resistor to correspond to a 0.25 degree C gap, the on-off control for cooling will be done between 25.25 and 25.75 degrees C. You see now two thermistors of the nickel lead wire screw all NTCLE203 series, but only one is the real sensor, this one. It measures the temperature of the system with a delay fixed by this RC constant. This represents the response time and in fact you can define it at will. The second thermistor is only used for simulation. That's a very practical way to set up the target temperature without having to compute threshold voltages. A system to control is molded by a couple of capacitors and fixed resistors charged by several voltage sources, one for the heating, one for the cooling, one for the external ambient temperature, and the last one is a PWL5 voltage source representing some noise for the external temperature. Such noise can eventually come from a recording of the ambient temperature of your own application that you can easily encode via a text file into the simulation. This small circuit shows in fact the good analogy between an electrical circuit and a thermal circuit. When neither cooling nor heating is done, the voltage will follow the external ambient temperature with some inertia defined by the capacitors. For the heating, the power is in fact the electrical power generated by this resistor. For the cooling, a similar modeling has been made, but with a negative power. This is a simulation trick just to represent the cooling power of a compressor or even a thermoelectric element, which can drive the system to a minimal temperature and the cooling source is going to have this value of minimal temperature. In this simulation, we are going to examine the statistical aspect of the temperature control by doing a Monte Carlo analysis. This is the reason of this function, MC, appearing in the fixed resistor value and also present in the thermostor net list. This means that nearly all the resistor elements and also the thermistor for the R25 and the B value will have their value change in a random way within the limits of their tolerances. And we are going to make several simulations and see globally the effect on temperature control. It's time now for the simulation. The starting point of our system is 20 degrees C for an external temperature of 29 degrees C. So the full heating takes place. When we approach the target temperature, the LTC 1040 stops the heating and then starts cooling on a periodic base. We see effectively that the temperature remains in a band around 25.5 degrees C with some hysteresis. Of course, the system inertia and the NTC tolerance are having contribution on the absolute level and delay here as well. This goes on like this till 2500 seconds where we implement a decrease of the external temperature from 29 down to 21 degrees C. So now under the target. When this decrease happens, the control enters into the floating zone where no cooling 
neither eating is done. Under a certain temperature, eating will start up also on a regular base and the temperature will swing now in a band around 24.5 degrees C. As explained earlier, several simulations are done in a Monte Carlo analysis and after 10 months we see that cooling will be performed globally between 25 and 26 degrees C and the heating between 24 and 25 degrees C. So we are able to compute the contribution of all passive element tolerances to the temperature control. Let me point out a last detail. Look at the time span. We just performed a simulation of 10 times 6,000 seconds, so just about 10 times 1 hour and 40 minutes, within a simulation time of about a few minutes. Only a good SPICE program can reach such a high performance. If you have any question regarding this or regarding any LT spice involving NTC thermistor, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching.